Hey, this is Doc. Listen, I know uh, it's late. It's like 12.35, and I'm yawning, and I'm tired, but I got to tell you something, okay? I want you to understand something. Now, I survived from falling off the roof and collapsing a log. <laughs> but that's because I got stuff that I got to do, all right? Um, if not, I wouldn't be here today. Um, so I've been through a lot of traumatic experience, but I'm still bouncing. So if I'm bouncing, then I'm going to take care of business. Now, you got to understand something. Oh, hang on a bit. It's a late night. You can store up all you want. You can do whatever you want. You can make plans for however you want. But if you're not on God's side, it's going to become waste, a waste of time. All right? I mean, listen, look at Toledo, Ohio. Okay, well, that's 30 minutes from me. And in a matter of one day, one day, they went from being fine and dandy to all of a sudden 400,000 homes could not use the water. They don't want the children to be bathed or showered in it. You cannot drink it. Boiling it will not fix it. Some kind of a chemical given off by blue-green algae from Lake Erie. Who knows? But they said that there's nothing you could do about it. Okay. And within four hours, all the water in the whole Toledo area, bottled water, was gone. Gone. He said it again. Gone. Which means that uh, people had to drive actually up here to Detroit area in order to get water, bottled water, because the whole community or the whole area of north and north, northwest Ohio was wiped out with uh, people taking water, and they were actually having to ship it in from Cleveland, Akron, other big cities to try to get some water, portable water into Northwest Ohio, Toledo, Southwestern United States, or Southwestern Michigan. Um, what I'm just saying is, just because it's not happening in your town, don't mean it's not going to happen. All right? And I want you to understand this. Okay? Now, everybody on this internet, everybody on this YouTube, if you follow my videos, you know I stand firm for God, and there's nobody going to change my thoughts otherwise. Um, I have my own unique way. Let me straighten this up. I have my own unique way, but I have faith in God. And if you don't have God on your side, everything you do is just going to be a waste of time. 400,000 people? Don't you realize that some of those people in Toledo would have been uh, people who were uh, preppers out of 400,000 homes? <laughs> and all of a sudden they got no water. They flush toilet, but they can't drink it. They can't bathe in it. They can't shower in it. They can't cook with it. They can't do anything with it. And if you boil it, it still doesn't fix it. Now, i got to tell you something else. Why in the world will the United States allow two patients come here with Ebola? Now, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist. I'm just trying to let you know that there's something else going on that we don't comprehend. All of a sudden, we have this, and it's not a natural disaster. It's not a hurricane, it's not a tornado event, it's not a flooding event. It's something simple as a blue-green algae in Lake Erie somehow got filtered down into the Toledo area and it shut the water system down. 
Now let me bring this up to you. Just have patience. Okay. That could last a day, it could last two days. What if it lasts a couple weeks? Because it's a steady chemical flow from this blue green algae. What's gonna happen with a couple weeks worth of not having water? Think about it. Now I'm not trying to paranoia. you. I'm just trying to let you know that it don't have to be uh, a war type event. Just something simple as that could shut down 400,000 homes. And every one of those homes are having to suffer because they don't have the water stored up. Why do you think we as preppers have been on here beating our gums to death, trying to encourage people to store up water? Because more stuff like this is going to occur. All right? That's why the doc's here. That's me, the doc. I'm trying to encourage you to, you just have no idea what's going to happen in your own hometown. These people on Friday woke up with everything fine and dandy, but come, but come 9, 9 a.m., all of a sudden, they couldn't drink their water, they couldn't bathe in it, they couldn't do anything with it. It was It's a waste. Within one hour, you understand that? Within one hour. I tell you, people, we need God on our side. And I'll be the number one advocate when it comes to that. All right, now that's not gonna guarantee you're not gonna run through some stuff or some muck and problems. But I'm gonna tell you, with God on your side, you're gonna have people that are going to jump in the game and give you a hand because God will inspire them to take care of it. But I'm gonna tell you, that's all I'm gonna talk about with that. All right. Now, with the Cebola, I don't know what to expect with the Cebola. All I know is that's the most stupidest thing the government could ever do is allow that to cross into our borders. All it takes is a sneeze from one of those patients and it be inhaled or exposed to the skin of one of those workers and then off we go. Because Ebola is not spread by just being next to them. Ebola is spread by body, bodily fluids. So if they sneeze, that's bodily fluids. And if they can have their masks and their eye goggles and stuff on, but if their skin is exposed to the sneeze and it gets on their skin, it's all she wrote. Okay? Just let me know that. Now listen, a couple weeks ago, about a week ago, I fell off the roof of the house and I landed on my back and collapsed along. I was supposed to meet some people in Waynesville, North Carolina, because Waynesville, I believe, and I feel encouraged strongly to say that uh, that is a good place for God's children to meet if they need to. So I want you to remember Waynesville. Now we have Yellowstone with all their eruptions and everything going on with that, and they said that if that erupts, It'll be months worth of eruption, not just one day, but it'll be months, which means it's going to spread ash all over the eastern United States, all over the central and eastern United States. So it could cause an issue, but I'm not looking for paranoia. I'm just looking to let you know there's more going on than meets the eye, okay? Unless you're keeping up with the current news, you're just letting your life pass by thinking every day is okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. All right. And what else I want to bring up to you? I want to bring up to you the fact that, uh, you know, we're, we're doing this and it don't matter what kind of physical condition I get bump, bumped in. When I clear it up, I'm ready to do it do and take care of what I need to take care of. So I've already sent out word that maybe in three or four weeks, 
I'll be able to uh, move forward and get into Waynesville and take a look at the properties around there and get things squared away. But I'm also setting up in the Niagara Falls, Canada area for those who are able to make it up in there uh, when disaster hits in order to for a safety net or a safety zone. I just feel auctioned by God to do that. So um, I got two places and I need your prayers. And I need you to hold me up in prayer. Uh, for those who are prayer warriors or those who um, go after God with their heart, hold me up in prayer because I am trying to do the right thing at the right time, at the right moment. And I need to, I need to have those prayers in order to um, get the answers that I'm looking for. Okay, so listen, you guys take it easy. You watch the news. Israel and Gaza, something we've never seen before. Not going to come to an end real soon. I guarantee you, it will be a mess. And it'll keep going. Because every time Israel tries to come up with a peace treaty, Gaza or the Palestinians end up screwing it up. Well, that's just end day stuff. Okay? <clears throat> then we got the disasters in the United States with natural stuff. Now we have the whatever the chemical is coming off of this blue green algae. But who knows? I don't mean it has to stop there, does it? We have several other lakes around Michigan, and they can feed off into other states, and uh, who knows what to expect. California, worst drought, three years, four years running. It's a mess, okay? It's um, M-E-S-S. Lakes are drying up, and they said that people might start migrating in easterly to get away from California. It's going to create more of a mess. So anyhow, you want to know how to maintain and keep up what's going on. You want to know how to survive this or handle this. You know what? Not only click and like on my posts, but share my posts. Okay? So others can see this and hear this. Because I've got to tell you, as a Navy vet and a doc, there's more than meets the eye. And we got to keep up on it. And that's what I'm trying to do. Okay? God bless. Love you.